Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And Ronnie's at home with Hunter and he says she's fine. <laughs> and I'm Kimberly and this is Cash. And we're gonna go over our 2019 Mania plans. Um, and Priscilla's gonna talk to us a little bit about what Mania actually is. Okay, so Stitch Mania started as a group on Facebook and Mania is spelled with a Y instead of an M-A-N-I-A. -A. It's spelled M-A-Y-N-I-A. -A. Yeah. Anyway, it started a few years ago, and how it started was they did, I think it was in 2015 maybe, and they did 15 projects for that year. But I like to do one project each day to start for Stitch Mania. So I have 31 projects plus three extras, so I think I'm gonna be starting 35, 34? 34. 34 projects. And Kimberly and Chelsea <laughs> both have 31 projects, so. We have a lot I of like, things to show you. <laughs> I like to use Mania as kind of a ramp up for the rest of my stitching year. So getting the holiday stuff started now mm -hmm. versus waiting until Christmas time or Halloween time to start those projects. If I have it started now, I'm much more inclined to jump into it once that season arrives and I'm able to kind of get more things done for my decorating. Yeah, I think it's a good way. For me, I just basically took charts that I've been wanting to start and kind of forcing myself to start them. And then my goal is to have uh, one or two done by uh, May 31st and then to a month after that and by May 1st, 2020 have all of them done. Because if they're not done, like if I don't have three of them done, then I can start three less next year. So I can only start 31 next year yeah. if I finish 31. But that's like my rule, my crazy mm -hmm. made up rule. But I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start with yours. Okay. Hi. So I don't have all my fabric and flosses ready. I'm just showing you the charts. But first of all is Bittersweet and Broomsticks from with thy needle and thread. And how I went about this is we do have our stitching days in our Real Housewives of Cross Stitch videos, which, Witchy Wednesday, Fall Fridays, Stars and Stripes Saturday, Santa Sundays and Merry Mondays, and I tried to pick out projects that would go for those dates. So this will be the May 1st. On May 2nd, the Wool and Flax Company from Plum Street Samplers. That was a uh, market release this year? Yes. And it is like all over Instagram. Mm -hmm. So are you going to be doing those called Fort Pinks or are you going to try to darken it up? Yeah, no, it's going to be darkened up. <laughs> and then she'll put on her blog after she starts mm -hmm. it exactly what she's using. Mm -hmm. And also on Instagram, I show a lot of pictures of the floss that I'm using so you can get a, a early start. And I love this pink. It's like not pink. And this is the Old Red Barn from Little House Nina Works. Chelsea stitched this and I finished it for her and I've been wanting to stitch it ever since. So I this like is my one. time. That was fun to stitch. Plum Street Samplers Hen Peck. Oh. And it's a little patriotic chicken piece because my kitchen is all chickens. Plum Street has a bunch of those stacks like mm -hmm. that, like a goat stack and pigs. Mm -hmm. Are you going to put the year on it? I don't know. Maybe I know. Not. I was like, I don't know if you're going to do that. Okay, heart and hand, we Santa. And I'm not sure if I'm doing him with the gold colored clothes either. So we'll see. I like his little pants though. They're cute. They're polka dots. Cute. This is collection tra la la. Coupe de Noel. <laughs> it's cute. It's got Santa and he's like, like on a little pedestal. It just kind of reminds me of the decorating I like to do. Where Liberty Dwells from With Thy Needle and Thread. That was also a market release. Yes, right? yeah. I love this. And I love <laughs> this because, and everyone has said this on Instagram, but the first thing I thought was, oh my gosh, because it looks quilted. Mm -hmm. yeah. It looks like that ticking. Stripe. And mm -hmm. I haven't seen that in a cross stitch design before. Is that the one you're starting? You're starting the... This one? This one, right? With the house? Yeah. I want to just do the star. Yeah. Frame it and then nothing This else. is Holiday Inn from With Thy Needle and Thread. This is an older one, which is cute for Halloween. I like that because the house isn't filled in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Land of Liberty from With Thy Needle and Thread. There's a theme here. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. Ye Old Crow Sampler from Heart and Hand. Have you I done a piece? For fall. That's all one color? Monochromatic? No. Nope. Nope. Are you going to do the letters? Yeah. You don't do letters much. I know. <laughs> she stepped up. <laughs> <laughs> This is Hands on Design, Where Liberty Dwells. And I have a special idea for the finishing on that one already. And this is cool. It comes with the, is, what is mm -hmm. that? Chenille. No, it's um, oh. Velveteen. Cool. To finish it? Mm -hmm. I won't be using that, though. Oh, sorry. 
<laughs> but it does come with it. I'll let you borrow it if you want. <laughs> Vintage Christmas sampler from Lori Holt. And I'm not sure if I'm doing them separately or together, so I'll have to figure that out when that day comes. Silver Creeps. Cre Silver Creep. <laughs> Silver. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Creek Samplers, my Christmas list. <laughs> I've loved this one for a long time, ever since it came out. And I... Oh, I love did, it. Did I, I would never... For beginners, too, this chart is really big symbols, right? Really easy yes. to read. I want to make this, but I don't think it's I could... Like, I don't think I could finish it. I don't think I could, like, do it, but yeah, oh, you I could, love it. Letters go fast. Oh, it's so cute. This is Blackbird Designs. It's from the Sweet Land of Liberty book, and it's the bottom. Piece, America. Right, you've already done the top middle, right? Mm -hmm. Anything else? That one I, I did. Yeah. And the one to the right. And this okay. just came out. No. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. This, this is, is an older one. This is Rise and Shine from Scissor Tail Designs. Patriotic chickens. If it doesn't have a farm or a chicken <laughs> or She'll bread. put one in it. <laughs> yes. I haven't seen this one before. This is Silver Creek Samplers, Freedom Reigns. There's two barns from them that I just love. and That's the companion piece, the one that I've already started. Mm -hmm. Are you going to put the year in it? No. Mm -hmm. No. Just for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Be Thankful from Country Cottage Needleworks, and Kimberly has stitched and finished this, and that's why I had to put it in mine, because I loved it so much when I saw hers. But I don't think I'm going to put the Be Thankful on there, because I don't decorate for Thanksgiving, because I put my Christmas stuff up. Even though we are thankful, <laughs> it's just more um, Thanksgiving-ish to me. But we'll see. But then you, if you took off the be thankful, you could leave it up all mm -hmm. fall season. Right. Free and the Brave from the Drawn Thread. Are there specialty stitches? Chelsea and I have loved this one for a long time. It I sure hope not. Stitches? Mm -hmm. A lot of Drawn I Thread sure has specialty stitches. Like what kind of stitches? Satin I can stitches. do oh. Smyrna's, but that's it. And French nuts. This is Be Joyful from <laughs> Heart and Hand. I might be able to finish this one. <laughs> <laughs> that one's easy. Oh, you could do Those that are from in last like year, right? two hours. That's cute. And it's aqua and pink. Yes, of course. The Reindeer Feed Sack from Carriage House Samplings. I love this one, too, and I'm not sure what color fabric I'm going to do it on. but Are you going to make it into a bag, though? No. 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 Mm -mm. I like that. It's cute. Knee High from Hands on Design. Another patriotic piece. They're over here enabling me. <laughs> oh. The Cat in the Moon. Calvin. Uh, yeah. Calvin. Mm -hmm. But this one looks like he's not mean. From With Thy Needle and Thread. Calvin's he's their a hat. cat. And their cat <laughs> is the devil. He's not my cat. He's Hunter's cat. <laughs> Hunter's cat. Silver Creek Samplers, yes. Liberty Hill Farm. And this one yeah. Chelsea has started. And I couldn't find this anywhere. But I know you guys have it now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's available at the Fat Quarter Shop. And you're going to darken it up, probably, mm -hmm. the top border. And what are you doing? Are you doing regular? Stitches? No, I'm darkening this up, too. It's a little pinky. The color that was called for was really pink. pink. This is Goodness and Plenty from Plum Street Samplers, and I want to start with the crow on the bottom. Patriotic House Trio from Waxing Moon Designs. And I have a, a good idea for finishing these, and I'm starting a few of the different series yeah they have four series of the houses and those would be good for the finishing techniques mm -hmm. you use is to swap those yep. out seasonally now are you going to do all three or just one <clears throat> all three for well, mania, for mania no, you're starting I'm just, just starting one. one you're just gonna pick one yeah this is the christmas house trio same with waxing moon designs and whatever i frame the the first one with i can use for that and oh, heaven gosh. and nature sing I love this one so much. Look at how much it's that big. would take her forever. <laughs> yeah, that reindeer. Are you gonna that do the reindeer whole thing? moose? Yeah. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, but I wouldn't do it. Oh, you can too much work. Outline that reindeer and just fill it in. Oh. When you're sitting waiting for Emma to dance. <laughs> Yuletide at Thistle Hill from Abbey Rose Designs. I love this one too. It's very pretty. Houses. Yes, that's like one of my favorite things to stitch. Halloween House Trio from Waxing Moon Designs. So the only one you didn't have in there is spring. Yep. Mm -hmm. Jack's Sweet Shop, the little ice skating Santa. I like that. 
Let's finish it a little bit. And then Betsy's good. Autumn from Plum Street Samplers. This one is really, really pretty and it looks really big. Are you doing the person? <gasps> and then I have three extras that I'm going to have three days where I have two starts. And the first one is the square dance. I'll probably do the May. This is from Heart and Hand. This is my favorite, the April carrots. I like May. Mm -hmm. And then, and, and I'm going to change the colors. They won't be pink. <laughs> the summer whirly gang from Heart and Hand. He's saying that she should put pink in her projects. That's what he's saying. And then the bloom and hens from Teresa Kogut. I love this. I think she had a, a punch needle of this and now it's in cross stitch. And when I saw it at market, but there's a lot of chicken and there's a lot of filling in. <laughs> That's a lot of filling in. So those are my 35 starts. And you're keeping track of them? Yes, I've put them all in my cross stitch journal book from Fat Quarter Shop. And so I'm gonna do 2019 on the top and then I'll know what I've done for 2019 mania because my mania from previous years is all in spiral notebooks that I got to go find and yeah this it's is nice so on mine what I did was I went ahead and like put all in the beginning what I did and then like 32 was land that I love and then on the side this is like OCD this right here <laughs> I'm putting my hours and so by the end of the year I can like kind of keep track of how many hours I stitch because since you know like may 1st so i'm technically it is work so you could probably pay yourself based on those hours oh yeah <laughs> kevin i need a bonus i need another check can you write me another you check? See, i've worked all of these hours <laughs> yeah um but i have and i am keeping all of mine the same colors there's only one that i changed um that's just how i prefer i usually just use what the people you like the recipe yeah it's okay yeah so mine are a little bit messier than hers so mine is like a little bit of a mess. So I just have this little bucket. It's a magnolia bucket. Um, it's I love Joanna Gaines. So this is the bucket. Um, I'm sure you can find it's it. It's a big bucket. It's not a little bucket. It's a big bucket. So but that's perfect for next to your stitching chair. Just put yes, it there and you can yes. grab and your bags up. So I have one of these in my house. It's aqua and Piggy's toys are in it. That's really bad. But um, okay, so my first one is April uh, Cottage of the Month. And I'm using the call for DMC and on all of these cottages of the month, I am using Wichell Lamb's Wool 14 count. And I'm sure I'm saying all that wrong, but. And then I'm using all of the floss flowers. And so I went ahead and got all my DMC off the skein, cut it into eight strands, put seven strands on the body of it, and then one strand at the top so that I'm ready to go. So that's kind of how I have it all kitted up. So that's April. May, I'm totally boring. Oh, this you've was, got stickers on the back too. Yeah, and I have stickers and they say FQS Stitch Mania, the year and the day I'm starting so that I can stay in charge. Like it says Thursday, May 2nd, because I'm not gonna remember. You're, You're just an overachiever. Organized. <laughs> I'm OCD, that's what that <laughs> Very is. Organized. That's, I could be, I could have already stitched one of these charts <laughs> instead of my little system. I have to have a system for everything. <laughs> It's difficult to live with me too. Okay, <laughs> June. And these are all um, Country Cottage Needleworks, July. Now, did you pick August. any certain day, like reason for starting them a certain day or just put them together? Oh, I just put like my favorites at the beginning and I really want to get the cottages of the month done because I had started those like a couple months ago. So mm -hmm. I kind of started that way. And then I just, after that, it's all random. Oh. So, October, November, I'm telling you, I'm like so boring. Yeah, but then you'll have them all done. December, yeah, I wanna get these done. Those are the main ones I wanna get done. And your fabric's already those cut. Along and right fabric's now. cut. That's I, awesome. I just got it off of the, I bought the Wichell in the package and then I just cut it down and then the extra that was around, I just, I'm saving it. Ornaments. Yes, oh, December. That's the only one that the coloring is a little dark. I might change the coloring a little bit when I get to it. Ooh. I know. Now this one I've been wanting to do forever. Spring has sprung. And again, I'm doing this on Witchell 14 count. Nice one. That. <laughs> <laughs> so this is spring has sprung. This is a newer one, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, this one I have been really wanting to do. So of course it's like, and Earth. it looks a lot bigger in the picture, I guess, it's than like it is. It's, it's like this. Yeah. Well, I'm excited because then I can skinny. finish it. I can finish it. Yep. 
I'm gonna send it to Priscilla. We're gonna make a deal. She doesn't know. We're making a deal. <laughs> I'm gonna send her fabric. She's gonna finish my stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna get in line after Chelsea. <laughs> okay, this one I'm super excited to to, to um, stitch. It's called Heart and Home by Needle Bling Designs, and it is amazing in person. So when I went to Nashville Needlework Market, it is sewn. It was on this. This is called whiteboard. Whitewashed. Whitewashed. And we sell it. And so. Um, it looks like shiplap. Yes. And I love shiplap. I don't have any shiplap in my house, but that would be what mm -hmm. I would want. But I don't know how to do shiplap. My husband doesn't know how to do shiplap. We got paint on the wall. <laughs> but I would love to have some shiplap. So I did change the red in this. Um, because the oh red, my goodness. yes, the, the red was maroon, and we're not Aggies. Aggies, uh, my husband's not um, into that, so uh, I had to change it. Yeah, I really think you ought to get some licorice red and use licorice red in that, because that would really For show the country up. Fancy floss. Yeah. fancy floss. Okay, well then we'll do it. Ooh. Happy Easter. Okay. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. She's like totally converting me over here. Okay, so Easter wreath by Tiny Modernist. This was at. Um, Needlework market and she had it. It's it's on like a cube, which I want to learn how to do, but it's super cute, like in person, and it's super tiny. So I like the detail on it. Um, I probably yeah, the back stitches. I don't know about that. I don't do back stitches. I don't do French knots. I'm not doing any of that. None of it. Okay, these. Okay, I stepped out of a limb on this. These. Oh. These were oh, way out of the limb. Oh. So these are from. I got these at Yarn Tree at Market, and they are by a French company that's called Madame Chantilly, or I don't even mm. know if they're French. I'm just something. They're something, and they're super cute. They have a all the seasons, and then the top has a. So there's two. There's like an ABC and then a smaller one. So I'm doing the smaller one. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I'm using a different cloth. Let me see. What day is this? May. These are really cute. The picture They're doesn't cute. do them justice. Yes, and in person they were really cute. So I am on, let's see what I'm using. I'm using Wichell Graceful Gray, which kind of has, it's got a little tint of aqua. Oh, that's pretty. So I've got that and it's in here because I don't want it to get wrinkled because you know, like OCD. So, but there's four of them and I'm super excited because <laughs> I've never done anything like this. So this one is spring. Oh, he's cash is going nine nine. Summer, and I'm super excited about this one because it's got some purple. And although I don't love purple, it's just beautiful. It's got like hydrangeas, maybe. What is that? Uh, Who knows? Lavender. Lavender. Miss La Lavender. Yeah. There you go. Does it look good in my house? Is that going on the gray as well? Yeah. Yeah. So all of so those all are of going them, on the gray. Yeah, all of them because I could never do two different ones. Is this the first time you're stitching on something other than your normal? Yes, first time. And I'm nervous about, I will say I'm nervous about the whitewash. whitewash. I'm a little bit nervous. Autumn. Cute. And. Have you opened up one of the patterns to see? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Okay, this one is Christmas signs and... I don't have the pattern here. Oh wait, no, I'm out of order. It's what? Mm, I don't know. This one is winter. That's pretty as well. I think it's in my favorite from yesterday. Um, but this is Christmas signs and it is by um, Tiny, Modernist. Tiny Modernist and there's four. And so I'm using, let me see, what does this cloth say on May 21st? That's pretty. Venetian stone. And so this is what she actually has on her cover. And so I kind of made it easy where I'm gonna do all, I kind of went out of order here. Here it is, I found it. I'm a little bit out of order, sorry. Um, so the Christmas signs, obviously I only need one pattern. But these are four different ones, and I've loved it since I saw it, and especially because it says, tis the season to be jolly, because my name is Jolly. Those are cute. Cute, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing all four of those, um, let's see, May I really like those 19, 20, 21st, and 22nd. And I just think they're cute. And like, I will say the back stitching, I'm not doing any of that. Okay. I'm leaving that all off. That's not, that's not for me. She's gonna tell you who you are. 
She's going to tell me I am. I'll send it to your house. I know your address. Um, okay, so then I'm also going to be doing Alphabet and Blanc. I saw this oh, at wow. Sue Hillis at her booth in Nashville. And it was really pretty. Like this, I know this fabric right here. It's a Moda fabric um, by Three Sisters. And it's an older one and it's just beautiful. So I thought my house kind of has a little bit of navy. I'm going to try it on perforated paper with Aura Floss. Oh. Yeah, I'm going way out. I totally changed it. See, I can change things. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that. We're going to see. That's nice. Is but, this your first monochromatic? You both are doing a, a single color piece. Are, is this your first? Yeah, and I've yeah, never. Yeah, program, Chelsea. I didn't know. And, I I've, didn't never, know. and I've never <laughs> done perforated paper. Neither have I. Have and, you? You've done yes. Mill Hill, right? No. Oh. So we're going to hope that it works. We're going to see. If it, if it fails, then I can just say, oh, I don't have to do that one. <laughs> Not really. Oh, and this one, oh my gosh, so cute. I know oh. y'all have both made this Santa no. sampler. No, we haven't. Have mm -mm. Similar. Yeah. We've so loved it. So cute. This reminds me of land that I love that we're stitching because right, of the right. little yes. sections. The sections, yes. Yeah, and you did that one really fast, so. What yeah. are you stitching that on? Which one? Lamb's wool. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and then I'm doing all the laundries. They are by Hands on Design. So oh, there's, nice, right? yep, irony, loads of fun, and the never ending cycle. Now I changed my colors completely. Oh. I have pink and aqua and greenish because these um, match my house. That's pretty. And so obviously in my video when I film it, I will link in the descriptions all the colors because um, that would just be too nuts to say them all right now. But I am going to do them on this white washed board and I had somebody um, on my Facebook group Kimberly Stitch Squad she's gonna do the same thing and she was asking if if we should do it vertical or horizontal and I think I should do it horizontal but then somebody else said vertical so now I don't know what I'm gonna do what do you think well if you want it more to look like shiplap I would go this way because yeah, okay, that's good. how shiplap goes paneling goes this okay, way good. right yeah okay good because that's what I'm gonna do yeah it's um, that was what I was gonna do and then I started second-guessing myself and I didn't trim these down like I did the others. The others have all been trimmed down the exact size they need to be. I didn't trim this one down because I want to be able to place it within the wood wherever I think looks best that day, I guess. That's smart. And I just think that's really cool. Oh, and I've been waiting to make this Merry Christmas ornaments. And of course, I'm keeping the same colors because I love pink and aqua and all that stuff. That's cute. Oh, Very cute. I might Vintage change. G. Yeah, the green at the top is a little green. I might change that. Y'all are being bad influences, making me change everything. Did, did, you did this one, right? Mm-hmm. Merry Christmas. You we did both this did. We both did. Yeah. So I'm just doing some, the DMC called for colors. That one's really quick. Quick? Mm-hmm. Maybe I can do it in one day. I got a I gotta, couple days. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this one I love. That one's cute. Pumpkin. Have you made we it? We both did. Yeah. Yep. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so this one I'm doing on a different um, pumpkin spice farm. We framed ours on, like, chicken wire on a frame. Oh, I'll send you mine. <laughs> okay, I'm doing this on Cafe Mocha Country, which is, I think this one. It's a little bit darker. Um, I tried to match something, right? Yeah. I think. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to that like. That white is really going to pop on that. Mm -hmm. That'd yeah. be pretty. Yeah, so we kind of, I love Wichell because I like the thickness of it. I don't like anything loose. Um, I like that it's. Mm -hmm. Stiff? Stiff. People don't like that. I love it. Stiff Us is too. better. Stiff is better. Pumpkins. Okay, this is very similar to my Be Thankful, but I still love it. And I picked... I did that one. Did you do that one? No. You didn't start that one? I think it's an... Let's see. It's an older one, right? It's mm -hmm. 2009. And I'm using Aura Floss. Those and are I, pretty colors. Yes, yeah, so I picked... Well, I had help. Denise helped me. Thank you, Denise. Denise, they're pretty. Yes, we helped. We did them together. Because I want them to match my house. I think a good clarification too if they're wanting to purchase that witch out is some people buy Ada and it's crunchy. If you get like the cheaper ver like not yeah, off or it's yeah, crunchy, crunchy versus stiff. stiff. Stiff just means it's hold it, it yes. holds its own. It's not right. crunchy. crunchy. Yeah. Not floppy. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Yes, absolutely. Because okay. I've tried with like those kits that you can buy at yeah, big no. box stores. It's crunchy fabric, but mm -hmm. that's not what she means by this. It's just stiff where it holds its own. It's kinda crispy. This one I, let's see. 
I'm doing this on Venetian stone. Another Madame Chantilly. Please. I've never done this one. So this, I'm gonna do it on this color. And um, I'm a little bit nervous because when she did this one, it's on tiny stitches. I can't even, it's in Italy, I don't know. She did it on tiny stitches. Um, but, so mine's gonna be bigger, but I think it'll look good in my bedroom. Or our bedroom, Kevin and I's, but I think it'll look good. 57 by 193, yeah. So I was thinking it might go like next to like, one of our nightstands that might work, but I, I, and then this one I'm super excited because I think I can finish it in That's one day. Cute. Yes. Have you yeah. made it? No. Tiny Modernist. I haven't even seen it. No, I haven't either. Yes. And Is I that think, new? Yes. And we saw it at um, Nashville Needlework Market and I thought it was cute and she had it, um, I think she had a different one that was finished like fancy finish. Yeah. That's what you should call your finishes, you could do fancy it, finishes. You could do it in a little tart pan too, that'd be cute. Yes, tart pan, mm -hmm. I haven't tried that. And then this I'm doing on a different cloth. I'm doing this on natural light, which is, I believe, this is really cute. It's one of these, but it's yeah, on our side. Yeah, we're gonna have to order that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, yes, it's cute, right? Mm -hmm. And, and I, I tried to pick a variety of like, really small and then medium, but I don't do anything large, so. I do have goals in it, and each day when I do my video, I think that Sue Hillis one is kind of large. You do? <laughs> no, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to like have goals each day so that I can like at least accomplish something. And I'm gonna do like full disclosure here because I know I'm gonna get comments, but like I do this for a living, so it's gonna I'm gonna get a lot of hours in, like three or four hours. It's because I get paid to do this for a living, so I'm gonna sit in my <laughs> office where most of you can't do that because that's not your job. So I'm gonna probably be able to get more done. You're probably gonna be able to get more done because you're retired. You don't have you know like little kids running around at home. But I don't want you to get discouraged that I'm doing a ton. I'm just trying to inspire you. I'm not trying to like outdo you. But if I start it, I gotta finish it. So I'm gonna try to do as much as I can. But again, it's like, it's my work. So I, I kind of get a free ride, which is <laughs> kind of good. Even if you get good. five, 10, 15 minutes in a project, you're still five, yes. 10, 15 minutes project. More than you would have. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, this is gonna be my second mania. And yes, I've finished maybe half my projects that I started last year. You think not, but I think it's half. I have to find my spiral notebook that's just laying around somewhere. Um, so again, I've got all my projects listed. So I haven't listed them all, and that's because I was writing in pen. Uh, I want to make sure that, you know, last year I got like three quarters of the way done and then I wanted to switch some things out. Some new things came out or I just wasn't in love with anything afterwards and that's okay. It, there's no police, you can change it, it doesn't matter. Do what you wanna do. All right, so for the first day though, May 1st, I am starting Barbara Anna Designs. It's a Wednesday, so I'm doing Witchy Wednesday. This is Black Cat Hollow part one and Mom T Coffee died, or Rit died some uh, Monaco and this is what I'm gonna be stitching it on. Oh wow. It's so pretty. Now, we are you going to put the ABCs it. in here or not? Yeah, I know. No. No. <laughs> Kinda not. But I think the colors will really pop on that. That's beautiful. That's writ dyed. Mm -hmm. Yes, writ dyed. Monica. Okay. Um, then hands on design and mom autumn acres. Are you going to do the whole thing? I think I'm going to start the big one for this. So I've never done one of her big, big ones. bigger pieces. So I'm going to do one of the big pieces. Um, and then this is a heart and hand Mary making mini. So she released a bunch of ornaments last year and this is very small and it's very achievable. So I'll be able to get this done within mm -hmm. the month of May and have an ornament set for Christmas time. Okay, look, it's cute. It's got, are these beads? beads? Yep, or, it comes oh my with gosh, beads. it has beads. And it's then, the little things, guys. Mm -hmm. Plum Street Samplers, this is Jack's, uh, Jack's Sweet Shop. Isn't that Wilhelmina? Wilhelmina, I'm sorry. What it, well, it says <laughs> it's Wilhelmina. If yeah, you turn it around, Wilhelmina. Lord have mercy, Wilhelmina. It's pretty. Are you gonna change the pinks? No, I want it spring-like, so it's gonna stay pink. It's pretty. Um, and then back to our um, hometown holidays. This is the Little House Needleworks Firehouse. I've stitched some of the hometown holidays, and Mom's um, finished them into ornaments. So just mm -hmm. keeping on that thing, so I have a future tree. Then Country Cottage Needleworks, this is Glitter House. I'm starting with number five, so I'm not gonna be stitching them all together. I found personally that when I start that, like Santa's Village or Hawk Run Hollow, I don't <laughs> accomplish anything. So if I stitch them uh, alone, I'll get more done. It seems like a smaller piece, it's a, a mind game. 
It is. Uh, Little House Needleworks Americana Sampling. I absolutely love this. I do too. I haven't stitched that. And I like the colors on this. Uh, the Liberty Blue might be a little bit light for me, so I might change that, but I absolutely love all the other colors. Plum Street Samplers Babushka's Bees. Love it. I just like saying the name Babushka. <laughs> um, Needle Bling Designs. This was a Nashville market. This is Sunflower Barn. And it is so beautiful, and we saw that in person, and I am not a country person, nor a sunflower, or a barn, and that is stunning. In person? Yes, and the way that she stitched the um, fancy floss is fabulous. Made it look really like a Yeah, it like was like barn. she did very, I don't, I of course now can't remember exactly what she did, but I was just blown away. This is Plum Street Samplers. Mom is starting it too, so hen peck. I had to shove some of my, so I put some of the floss that I've already collected for it in the front. That's cute. Farmhouse Christmas. I am finally starting these. This is uh, <laughs> Cock-a-Doodle-Doo. And of course, I had to start with one for the chickens. Heart and Hand. Here's the skinny on Christmas. So this is this really thin design that's going to, it looks bigger because it's longer, but it's going to be really achievable. And I love it. It's quirky and cute. Bent Creek, Stars and Stripes. This is a row. Mm -hmm. Love it. I, I like the colors up. on it. so I'll And that will them. totally match Cash's bedroom. Yeah. Are you going to put it in there? Yeah. So she's going to finish it. <laughs> Holly Jolly Holiday. And I've done the um, Halloween companion piece to this. So just continuing on for the seasons. You have a lot of little ones. I'm trying to make it achievable. I've got a baby. <laughs> um, and then another Merry Making Mini. This is the 4th of July. So obviously the 4th of July is more meaningful now because Cash was born on there. So I would love to stitch this one up for him. He's going to have his first birthday this year. Farmyard Parade. This is a With Thy Needle and Thread. This one came out last market. Is it last mm -hmm, year? Mm -hmm. Halloween Sampler by Cottage Garden. So this one went uh, out of print and then they brought it back because so many people wanted it. So I've got this, this one, so I guess I kind of like this for this as well. So we'll see what happens. Home Sweet, or Sweetest Home by Country mm -hmm. Cottage Needleworks. I don't know that I'll do the words on top, we'll see. And then Mary Mouse, so somebody posted this on one of our stitching groups, and I had always said I'm not going to stitch mice mouse. because I'll just bring them into my house or something like that. <laughs> but I'm stitching a mouse. <laughs> yeah, I saw that post. It was super cute. Happy Harvest by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is another small design, but it's so cute with the pumpkins and the corn in the bottom border. Oh, another copy. Uh, the Wool and Flax Coat by Plum Street Samplers. This is a market release. And it is so cute. So many people have made that already. And mm -hmm. I, it's so de detailed that I'm yeah. so impressed with the people that have like got mm -hmm. that together already. Cause yeah. it's a lot of, it's a lot of stitches. And it looks small and it's. This one. So I've got all of these together because I'll just put them in the same bag, but I'm only starting broomstick fuel for um, Mania. And this is by Hands On Design. Another market release. So a lot of my mania comes from market. That's good inspiration too. Bovinia by Plum Street Samplers. Little House Needleworks Sleigh Bells Ring. So this is an ornament, a smaller piece that I'll be able to get done, feel accomplished, feel like I'm doing something with my life. <laughs> uh, Waxing Moon Designs Winter House Trio. So they have seasons and they have holidays. Houses. Mm -hmm. Because you have Christmas, mm -hmm. and this is winter. Houses. Okay. So there's more than, what did we say, five? Four. Yeah. Um, oops. Where Liberty Dwells. It's another twin. Yeah, so here you go. <laughs> <laughs> she said she's not using it. The velveteen. Um, and then Heart and Hand Sunflower Sampler. Now this one came as a kit and it comes with some fabric, but I won't be able to use that, mm -hmm. so I'll be just stitching it on Monaco. Heartstring Samplery, this is Bee Garden, and I absolutely love this one. It reminds me of my mom's yard 
with all the cone flowers, the sunflowers, the bee balm. Love it. Hen and Chicks, and now my yard because I've taken half of her plants and put them in my yard. <laughs> Hen and Chicks, bye with the needle and thread. Union Forever by Maggie Bon... <laughs> by Maggie? Bonamia. I don't know, I just made that up. <laughs> I just made it up. And then last but not least, uh, with thy needle and thread, this was in my last year's mania and I threw it out because I wasn't motivated <laughs> enough to start it. This is Sampler of the Season Autumn. These are bigger pieces, but they're bigger because there's not a lot of fill in. So I mean, it should be pretty easy to do. I started one last year and all I got on it is two leaves. So, yeah, so you're doing great with that. <laughs> So thanks for watching our 2019 Mania. Make sure to follow me on FQ Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube and on Instagram and Facebook on FQS X Stitch or FQS Cross Stitch and follow us on Kimberly Stitch Squad. And where can they find you? At on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's 2000 on Facebook and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com where you see more of everything that we do. And also follow us on our Stitching with the Housewives or join our Stitching with the Housewives group and on Facebook. The, right, and the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch on YouTube. And we hope that with 94 <laughs> projects that we've given you some inspiration. So have fun. Mm-hmm.